Good morning, y'all. Good morning, y'all. To lead us in very special, we have our candles, blessing with candles at the beginning of Mass, so bear with me. Dear brothers and sisters, for 40 days we have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality, <clears throat> he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple, enlightened by the same Spirit, and recognized the Lord, and confessed Him with exaltation. So let us also gather together in the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ. There we shall find Him and recognize Him in the breaking of bread, and He comes again revealed in glory. Let us pray. O oh God, source and origin of all light, who on this day showed to the just man Simeon the light for a relation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that, in answer to your people's prayers, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing these candles, which we are eager to carry in praise of your name, so that, treading the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? 
for he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lye. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lentils. Reach up your ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? Lift up, O gates, your lentils. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to come like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Of the Lord. 
For you willed that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world, so as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. We have the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and the life of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you without end as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts be prayed by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. A time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread. <laughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Now that we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, <coughs> we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, that the church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope. Benedict XVI, our Pope Emeritus, Don, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And most of all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. It's for Anne Wendy, for whom this Mass is being offered. Lord, come name into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, to with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. See this command and form me to my teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. We 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, the Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us, and as you fulfill Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
blood be with you. And with your spirit. May God, the Father, Son, and the Spirit come upon and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are protected against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God be with you and come to pray. And if thou bring us up the host, by the power of God, trust in the devastation, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking in your own souls. Amen. Our Lady puts us as pray for us, Saint Joseph. Pray for us, the holy angels and saints. Pray for us. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful depart through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Today is also the feast day of Our Lady of Good Success, and for those who have made the novena, that's a wonderful experience. And uh, maybe we can just say a couple of prayers to our Lady of Good Success. Star of the stormy sea of my mortal life, may that light shine upon me so that I do not stray from the path that leads me to heaven. O Lady and Mother, see how evil is invading everything hearts, families, society, and our country. Children no longer walk on the path of innocence. The youth caught up in worldly pastimes no longer come before the altar to ask the maternal blessing. Nor do they seek the light of thy gaze to dissipate the shadows of doubt in the world that instills unceasingly. Mothers are forgetting that the home is the first school where good is taught and they are the first teachers. Family life today has deteriorated and the sound of the call to prayer is rarely heard. In the schools there is no prayer, nor are thy granders sung. In the home, few still believe in holy providence, which has counted all the hairs of their head and the sufferings of our hearts, and few have recourse to the merciful assistance of thy maternal heart. In these hours our country is a poor traveler of the gospel who fell into the bands of thieves riddled with wounds that are almost mortal, without the relief of any human hope. My sweet mother, take care of these abandoned children who are lost because they have nothing to in life. Protect the youth so that these tender plants are not swallowed up by the poisonous monk of vice. Teach mothers the divine gift of being mothers and their duty to, to model the hearts of their children at the cost of the sacrifice of saving them with the mysterious supplication of their tears. If thou dost not come to the assistance of this agonizing country, the remnants of Christendom will disappear. Thy heart is an abyss of infinite tenderness. Let a drop of balm fall upon its wounds, and all will live. Amen. Amen. My soul doth magnify the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, because he has regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation to generation to them that fear him. He has shown might in his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit of the heart. He has put down the mighty from their seat, and has exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has received Israel, his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, to a seed forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for all the Amen. Pledge to Our Lady of Good Success. Our Lady of Good Success, our most amiable Queen, most dedicated mother, I pledge to thee today and every day of my life my love and devotion. I offer thee my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of each and every day in reparation for the sins of this most lamentable era, and in particular the sins of blasphemy, heresy, and impurity, which has caused thee and thy most beloved Son, Jesus Christ, so much anguish and sorrow. I beg that intercession before the most holy Trinity to grant us the full restoration to the Catholic Church. Grant to us, through their most beloved Son, the grace to persevere in these times and to aid in spreading this devotion. I ask most humble for thy guidance to direct me according to my state in life and the grace to do the will of God in all that I do. I ask you to hear the prayers and special petitions of the members of this apostolate as well. I wish to be thine 
in time and eternity. Amen. Amen.